Okay, Seer of Work asks, how do I get more money? <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, have I got an answer for you? <laughs> That's the whole question. Thank you, Sierra. <laughs> how do I get more money? Oh, my God! <laughs> Just don't exist when Bill Gates dies. And you will have yeah. more money than you expect. Yeah. No, I think this is the right question to be asking to uh, early 20s males who... Um, don't have do jobs? Not, don't have... Yeah. Well, I have a job. Well, I, I, do, job. I do too, but not a real one according to my parents. Yeah, not a real one according to me either. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm talking about mine. I'm not talking about yours. I'm about you. I think you have a real job. Sorry, that came out <laughs> improperly. I think that you have a job as a video editor in the same way that I have a job as a piano teacher, you know, teaching my five hours a week. That's cool. See, I, no, I <laughs> Did wish... Did you not know that? No, I knew that you tuned <laughs> pianos, and I wanted to do that. I didn't know you taught piano. I do, more than I tune pianos. Tuning pianos is scary. Really? What? Can, oh, yeah. just because the strings could... Yeah, I've, I've, I, well, I, I deal with old pianos, and so there has not... There, there's been one one piano over the age of 100 that I dealt with that, that hasn't had a string break when I tune it. And so I'm learning how to prevent that more and more. But it's, it's it's uh yeah, it's hard. Yeah. It's really hard. And you don't want to mess up um, because you're on the clock. But anyways, um, real job in my eyes. Um, no, nah, not really. It's it's just to get by until I graduate. Um, but, yeah, you've come to the right place. Yeah. How do you get more money? Uh Let's see. Uh, you could sell your plasma. You that's could. A I real found out thing that I knew I, somebody that did that like every two weeks. Now that sounds dangerous. There, I hear. Uh, I hear it's super painful. Um, yeah. Uh, you. I found out just this week. You cannot sell your male reproductive organs for cash. I thought you could, and I thought you get a good chunk of change. And I was like, mm, I could adopt. Here, so it let me just check mine. my watch really quick and. Uh, Reminisce in the time that I, I realized that something had to happen for you to have that question on your mind. Um, what? Yeah. So uh, what brought that question to mind the first time? Of like, <laughs> hmm, I uh, wonder how much well, would I make? Uh, would I, I make a pretty penny? Friends. Well, well, Zane. Yeah? Zane. Yeah? Uh, no, no, it was it was a normal conversation, I'm pretty sure. It is normal as you have with, you know, close friends who you can talk about, you know, how much. I think it was the idea of how much are my balls worth yeah, sort of thing. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. And then we got on the idea of can I sell that? Can you sell, like, a kidney? I have two of them. I can do fine without one. I can do fine without two, personally. I can do I've fine, been on this idea. Yeah. I've been on this idea the last couple of years, Zane, that um, – and everybody else in Zane's apartment right now yes. – that um, – we're close enough. I can say this mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. that I don't really need to have kids, and that I can just adopt, and that I'd be fine as long as it's you know at least eh, twenty grand. I do it for twenty grand. Oh, you get paid both. twenty grand, or as long as the kids worth twenty grand. No, no, get paid. Get paid <laughs> twenty grand. I would, I would, I would do it for twenty grand. I think. I cannot settle for a cheap kid. <laughs> <laughs> If I pay less than twenty grand for this child, I'm not keeping. Can I just say how I've never had this this question pop into my head, but I love this conversation. Oh, what a sweet child you have! And you say thanks. Uh, we how actually, much did it cost? We adopted him, and they say, "Oh, how much did you pay?" Like, <laughs> I've never thought that out. Do well, people get that question? Well, you don't really you you don't pay in a in a first hand sort of like here's the baby now give me my eight thousand dollars like that's not how that works, but I think it does you do have to cost it, it costs to get the whole process to go through it's more yeah. of a cost of time I'm pretty sure we've we've um known people that have gotten adopted kids yeah it is yes. it's really it's just like months of a process years sometimes yeah. yes um yeah you could adopt that's a good way to make money. That's very true. I'm just kidding. That's not a good way to No, make yeah, money. no, child labor works all the time. I don't know what you're talking about, Will. Yeah, no, yeah, keep that in mind. Um, get for, yeah, just get like a, adopt a 14-year-old kid from another country and don't tell them that, you know, the law practices are any different and then just put them in your basement sweatshop. Uh, that would do. Yeah, I learned, here's another really good way to make money. I learned that there's a terribly terrible uh, Instagram page that reposts memes that other people have made, like, already. They just repost them. Mm -hmm. Every time that they post one, they make seventy-five thousand dollars. 
You're, you're kidding. So be a social media influencer. Not at Wait, all. You're kidding. Not $75, at all. $75,000? Yes. Social, why? social media influencers are crazy. As soon as you've got advertisers, you're set for life. Why do you think the Kardashians are famous? Now what? That's literally what they do, man. Now what? That's what they. No, no, I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not questioning the Kardashians. Yeah. Like gain the fame. I'm just saying, like seventy five thousand dollars for an Instagram picture. For that person, yeah. Some people just make money, like that. It's it's all about how much people click on the ad or how much people like the posts and things like that. And for some reason, it just piles up coins for those people. So social media influencer is a legitimate yeah. move. As long as you, the reason I don't do it is because I would hate myself for doing it because it's yeah. just, it's lying to other people, uh, and cheating them out of, uh, creative original stuff and just being unoriginal and using other people's ideas. And so I can't do it. Uh, I'll, I'll it, tell you what though, Zane, I felt, uh, I felt a lot worse for a lot less money. <laughs> I've hated myself for less than seventy five thousand. I did. I did hate myself for thinking that Bill Gates would be a respectable man. And then he goes and dies and takes money from me. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. That co- that cost me to hate myself for that one. You yeah. know what? Yeah. I paid to hate myself <clears throat> for that one. Oh my god! I just realized. Take your wallet, right? However much money it's got in it. Easiest mm-hmm. way to double it. Throw that bad boy Rip in the fridge half. real quick. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's gonna, it's just yeah. gonna, it's gonna bring it back. Unless for some reason, um, in our FAQ section that we have on our website, uh, which doesn't exist, if you throw your wallet <laughs> in your fridge and you open it the next couple days and it's turned into a lot of batteries, uh, we'll help you, mm. we'll help you out with that because that's not supposed to yeah. happen. That also means that your fridge is pretty angry at you, and we gotta talk that out. Also, throwing money into your fridge is how ATMs are born. It yeah. just takes some time. If you if you it's keep a, if you keep a hundred dollars in your fridge for a month, it will turn into an ATM and will be filled with more money than you could ever dream of. And that's yeah, that's it, one of the easiest ways to make money. It's a cool internal bionicle sort of system, and then on the last day, it just sort of flowers out this beautiful ATM front and just lets you insert money into it and spit it out whenever you please um also every now and then it spits out a battery to remind you where it came from <laughs> yeah just of its roots just to bring you back to the old stuff bring you back to whence it came um <laughs> just as a reminder there's a there's a separate little slot because it's not money sized it's just a little hole in in, in the faq says you know a little section of our website it does also ask what is the extra little hole on the left for? And said, oh, that's for the batteries. That's for the batteries. And they said, oh, that's I, where it spits to, out half used batteries. Do I have batteries to bring my own batteries? They said, no, no, that's where it gives you the batteries. <laughs> Every, sometimes. It's it's a it's a luck of the draw, really. Yeah. Uh, whether, whether you get a battery that's a little under halfway charged, juiced up, um, so you can bring home. If you bring it back, you get a discount on your next transaction fee. So, um, yeah. That's all I got. So, the juice ran dry. Yeah, build, I've, I've said juice a lot. Build your ATM, get that battery, then go cash the Bill Gates check. You'll get the reduced fee, which will allow you to maybe make money off the Bill Gates check. All of a sudden, boom, you've made a couple more cents. Hope we helped. Uh, Hope we helped. That's how you make your money.